Scientists are currently investigating the reasons behind the sudden formation of large and tightly packed gatherings of humpback whales, known as supergroups. This phenomenon has piqued their interest, and they are aiming to uncover the underlying factors that contribute to this behavior. A fascinating occurrence has been observed near the shores of South Africa by both researchers and the public. The location where they gather is distant from the typical summer region of humpback whales in the Antarctic. These groups grow in size from 20 to 200 individuals, and their main objective is to find food. According to lead researcher Ken Findlay, being in a small boat surrounded by 200 humpback whales is an immensely remarkable encounter. The whales appear unexpectedly from all directions, creating a truly extraordinary experience. According to South Africa's Department of Environmental Affairs, the scientists believe that the phenomenon of large groups of animals feeding together, which they refer to as supergroups, is a relatively new behavior. During the research expeditions in 2011, 2014, and 2015, the whales were seen lunging, diving, and emitting a distinct smell known as whale blows, which has a strong fishy scent. These observations took place in South Africa during the spring-summer months of October and November. Researchers noticed that the supergroups showed a certain level of flexibility, with whales occasionally joining and then departing from these groups. It was observed that certain whales would travel long distances in order to become part of these massive gatherings. Humpback whales are not typically recognized for their sociability. They are commonly observed in solitary or paired configurations or in small clusters that do not maintain long-lasting associations. Researchers stated that the causes behind this new and unusual behavior pattern are still uncertain. However, it is possible that the phenomenon is linked to the growing population of humpback whales in the area or the abundance of their prey. However, scientists were unable to determine the specific prey that led to this large gathering. Findlay stated that while the occurrence itself is not mysterious, what remains enigmatic is the process and reasoning behind it. There is a need for further examination to unravel these inquiries. The speaker mentioned that he, along with his colleagues, intends to release a collection of articles discussing the occurrence. He further added that despite his extensive involvement in humpback research for over three decades, they have never encountered such a phenomenon previously. The observation of numerous supergroups holds a significant implication for the well-being and status of these magnificent creatures. According to Findlay, the results we obtained demonstrate the remarkable resilience of these animals in recovering from the significant impact of whaling in the previous century. In the Southern Hemisphere alone, more than 200,000 humpback whales were hunted during that time. Scientists have said that it's truly astonishing to witness the remarkable recovery of these populations after 30 to 40 years. This restoration inspires a sense of optimism and sheds light on the current condition of the ocean. The US Navy recently conducted a significant study revealing that it unintentionally caused the passing of at least six whales due to the use of sonar technology on its ships. The Navy, in collaboration with the US National Marine Fisheries Service, made this finding public towards the end of the previous month. However, this discovery may pose challenges for the Navy's future implementation of an advanced sonar system intended to detect submarines from afar. For many years, experts in the field of marine mammal research have had the belief that the sonar signals emitted by military vessels might have contributed to several atypical instances of beaked whale strandings. Beaked whales, known for their teeth and preference for deep-sea feeding, have been found stranded shortly following military sonar drills on numerous occasions. Unfortunately, due to the advanced decay of the carcasses, no tangible proof of injuries caused by sound energy has been uncovered. On March 15th, back in the year 2000, Ken Balcom and Diane Claridge, independent researchers specializing in marine mammals, were surprised to discover a stranded beaked whale near their residence on Abaco Island in the Bahamas. Subsequently, they observed an additional 17 stranded marine mammals in the vicinity, some of which exhibited signs of bleeding from their ears. In order to shed light on the situation, the researchers collected tissue samples, including whole heads, from a total of six deceased animals. Prompted by the revelation that these strandings coincided with a Navy training mission that took place within a 24-hour time frame, government scientists initiated an investigation. 
In a preliminary report released on December 20, 2001, scientists from the Navy and National Marine Fisheries Service have determined that the beachings of whales were the result of a unique combination of factors, including underwater topography and water conditions that may have concentrated and intensified sonar signals. Although the exact mechanism by which the sound energy caused injuries to the whale's ears and tissues remains unknown, it is believed that the acoustic disturbance left some whales disoriented and vulnerable to shark attacks, prompting them to swim ashore. Moving forward, the Navy expresses its commitment to minimizing the use of sonar in similar circumstances during training exercises and expresses a willingness to allocate additional funds for further research. The findings of the study do not come as a surprise to Naomi Rose, a knowledgeable marine mammal specialist affiliated with the Humane Society of the United States in Gaithersburg, Maryland. According to her, the Navy had no way of avoiding taking responsibility. However, she believes that the report is skillfully crafted in a way that prevents it from providing ammunition to critics of the Navy's new sonar system operating at a lower frequency which they are planning to deploy. Whales, known for their magnificent size and intriguing vocalizations, hold a crucial position in the world's ecosystem. Acting as both consumers and nutrient providers, their extinction would trigger a cascade of consequences, affecting both the ecological balance and the human economy. Firstly, whales play a critical role in the marine food web. As predators, they keep populations of smaller fish and invertebrates in check. By feeding on krill, they prevent these tiny crustaceans from consuming all the phytoplankton, the base of the marine food chain. Should whales go extinct, the uncontrolled growth of krill could lead to a decrease in phytoplankton, potentially causing a ripple effect throughout the marine ecosystem. Whales also act as significant contributors to nutrient cycling. They consume nutrients in the ocean depths and release them nearer to the surface in their fecal plumes, aiding the growth of phytoplankton. Phytoplankton not only serves as the primary food source for a multitude of marine species, but it also absorbs large amounts of carbon dioxide playing a key role in mitigating climate change. With the extinction of whales, this natural mechanism would be disrupted, leading to a potential decrease in phytoplankton and an increase in atmospheric CO2 levels. Furthermore, whales contribute to marine productivity through their carcasses. When they die, their bodies sink to the ocean floor, providing an abundance of nutrients and thus creating complex ecosystems known as whale falls. These provide habitats and sustenance for a variety of species, some of which are uniquely adapted to this environment. The loss of these whale falls could mean the extinction of these species and a decrease in ocean biodiversity. So, what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.